hello everyone how are you guys doing today uh, welcome back to my channel it is Angela here again uh, thank you guys for joining me um, I'm here dressed in my portable hoodie blanket which goes to my knees and I'm really snuggly today so feeling nice and cozy after this really cold weather that we've been having I hear some parts of the world have had really warm weather so don't don't tease us with that right now, uh, what I'd like to bring you, you, as promised, is some suggestions that I have on how to store lace, ribbons, trims, that kind of stuff. Um, and I was very fortunate to um, find this opportunity that was sent to me by the lovely Vilma uh, Mulbeck, who's on YouTube. And I'll put Vilma's channel link down below. And she shared an idea on how she stored lace. Um, hers was in a plastic container, which is great, um, but I didn't have a plastic container with me. So I have used what I do use, which are these boxes. Now these boxes, I'm trying to think quickly, are made by a company called Leeds. I think, I'm not sure if they're German or what they are. But they make great storage solutions. But the thing I like about these is, because I'm pretty lazy when it comes to um, flat pack and storage solutions. So what Lights does is they do the foldable storage boxes. So you just clip them together with press studs. Um, so if you have a look at this one here, and I'll just turn it up, you can see here some of the press studs that you would um, press it together. Now I have loads of these for all different sorts of storage, um, which I'll show you one day when I update my um, craft room tool. So maybe I'll do that in the near future. But this one is the one I use for my lace. Now they've got these great handles. This is a, um, a medium box. Um, and you get them in different colours as well. So I've just made this my lace box. You've got these lovely labels. Um, and as I said, you just press stud them together. And it comes with a nice lid as well. So this is an A4 letter size box here. Um, and really, really great. And they stack nicely together and really do the job for me. So I've got quite a few of these in my craft room. Okay, so this is um, the idea that Mul uh, Wilma has shared with me. And I just loved it. So I have taken a version and I'm going to show you how I created mine. All right. So if you have a look inside, let's just put the lid down. You can see that I've got all my lace in here, all the lace types that I use. All right. So the way I've done it is I've got my sort of broader lace um, bits here. And I've, I use these for pockets and all sorts of things. Um, and then... As you go along, I've got different types here. So I've sort of kept them in colours um, and kept them closed with pins. That keeps them nice and neat and just normal pins. Um, and then if I'm looking for a certain width, I can just pull out what I have here. And it's easy to see. It's easy to see what you have. It's easy to use. And really, I'm in love with this method. All right. So that's what I've done here with all the long pieces that I have quite a lot of. I've put them all in here. So I've even got the pink ones that I like to use. Um, I've sort of color banded them as much as possible. So this is really easy to do. And I will show you how I did this. Now, um, with some of the ones that are wider, like that, I've made wider spaces. And the rest, of the, most of them are really the same space, um, sort of that width there. All right, so you can, what I use to do this, and let me just grab it here there's one of two things you can use you really need something that's going to be quite um, sturdy uh, you can either use really thick card this is from packaging and stuff that I've received it's really good quality and quite robust um, and as I'm such a hoarder I've got all sorts of things that um, I can pull out and use this then on the other hand is a type of corrugated board which I've made mine out of it also came from packaging um, and I've cut out my pieces accordingly now for this box here I'll tell you what I uh, did I've got specific measurements um, so this slides in there so you're going to do this ever so, about a half an inch 
gap on either side just so that you can slide it in and out really easily so and also um, if you put this in here let's see if I can just slide this down quickly just so that you can see um, you're looking at a good inch from the top it does um i do that because obviously when you wind the lace on that's close to the top now so that's what i've done there all right so depending on the size of your container plastic or card right so the depth of this for this box is six and a half inches or uh 16 and a half centimeters um approximately and the width is 26 and a half centimeters or just short of 10 and a half inches if you have a look over there all right so i cut out quite a few of these and i've got spares as well um just in case and then what i did was i made a little template now what um wilma did she had a nice sort of a rectangle rectangular punch for hers and i didn't want to go and i did go and look at the punches but then i didn't i thought no i'm not going to go invest in a punch because i don't have one and I probably wouldn't use it for much else, um, for the kind of crafting I do. So I thought, no, I'm just going to make myself a template. So that's what I did. So what I did was I went and I took one of the card scraps and I made myself a template like this that could just fit on the top of my card like that. Okay, so I did that like that, um, and I can tell you that for myself, I've used, um, I think it was three quarters of an inch in width, but you can do whatever width suits you, and I've left um, three quarters of an inch that way as a gap in between. I tried it with a thinner one, but I can tell you that you need this to be sturdy, so you don't want it to be too thin. Um, if you're going in inches in centimeters it's two centimeters for each one of these and that way I got myself six like that of course with the thicker ones I didn't make any gaps I just rounded took the middle one out and then I've got a wider one and that works really well as well okay so then what I did was I just took my template like that put it on the top of my card and then we grab my pencil so I held that like that line that up you can put a little peg on the end just to keep it in place and that side as well just because you want it to be lined up nicely okay there we go and then just go and draw the, the shapes out like this okay right across and then you're going to do the same on the other side as well so that when you draw finished you've got that on that side and i have actually done another one for you and then you've got both on the other side just make sure that the side you you join up there is the same side you start on there so that these lines line up nicely all right so that that matches with the bottom like that okay so let's just move this out the way and then i can show you the second piece here All right so now what you're going to do is you're going to just take your card now you can either um use a pair of scissors like this and just cut out along all of these lines like that make sure you go right down to the actual bottom there where this one i haven't so you want to just make sure you go to the line and do that all the way along to the bottom so it's not difficult i did this while i was watching tv i drew them all first and then i sat down and i clipped all of these out it was really quite therapeutic <laughs> so it was fun to do so that's how i did it and then what i did was i took my uh, ruler and my uh, stanley knife craft knife if you have one and then what you want to do is you want to just uh, work out which ones you need to cut so I think the safest method and what I did was I drew little crosses so that one is my edge 
so not that one and then you want to cut out every second one like that and there's your edges all right so you want to make sure you've got edges um, and then it's just a case of doing that so we've done that and then you can easily just take these out like this they just come out very easily all right so there you have that side completed and then of course do the same with the other side and then you've got your little space there so if i just do one so you now between those two is where you're going to wind your lace all right so that's how you do it once you've done that you put a little pin in you slide it into your box and there you've got your storage method thanks to the lovely wilma thank you wilma that was really handy okay so that's what i do with my really long pieces of lace so it worked really well and i'm loving that method now i've got another idea for you as well so hang on there a moment. All right, so here's what I do with my ribbons and trims. Um, again, I've got another one of these light storage boxes, and this one has got four drawers in it. You can see it, the picture that I have um, put into the side there. All right, so what it is, it's a white box. Again, um, this is really a good size. This particular one, I think, if I measure it, it is 28 centimeters or 11 inches and yeah it's 12 14 inches in length okay so we're looking at about 36 centimeters by about um 28 so it's easily a big size a4 and i love this this is really a great solution for all your tiny pieces of lace um, as well as my ribbons and trims I put in here. Now each one is, I've got uh, four drawers in here um, and I'll show you the front view in a minute. Um, and in each drawer, I store my various colors. So if I just turn this to the side quickly so you can see what I'm doing. If I open that drawer there, you can see I've got my pink um, ribbons and trims in there. So everything that I use that's pink is in here. If I'm looking for anything in here, as far as pink and ribbon and trims is concerned, I've got it in here. Then, of course, um, the next drawer, I've got uh, greens, blues and yellows. All right. So that's the next one I have in there. And that works really well for me. The very the third one, I've got a load of um, trims and ribbon uh, from uh, all the neutral shades so creams and and all sorts in here these tra drawers do go back really far as you can see all right so you can get a lot in here and the drawers i think they're two inches deep so five centimeters really good uh, unit this then at the bottom i have got all my little scrappy bits of lace that can't go around the big storage box i showed you earlier so things like um little scraps in here these are just my clear boxes i love clear boxes i have all sorts of shapes and sizes you can get something similar if you're in the us so this is like tiny little bits that i i can't really wind onto anything that go into here all right so these are all the purpley shades so anything sort of purpley they're in here um, and that goes for any other thing that I'm looking for. So if I'm looking for duck egg blue, the duck egg blue stuff is all in here. All right, so I go and look in these little boxes before I go into my other big pieces because this is how I work away all the scraps as well. So I've got a drawer full of those. Okay, so that's how I, I tackle the trims and the ribbons um, or scrappy bits of lace. It's all in here. So that's that um, element. Now, if I just tilt this to the side, you can see what it looks like from the side. All right. Uh, really easy to operate. Um, you can put labels on there. I haven't done that yet. I'm waiting. Um, I need to fill in some of the card bits that go in there. So I will do that. All right, so these um, also stack really nicely with the blue ones. And when I show you one day when I'm feeling brave, um, I'll show you how I use these in my storage for everything that I do pretty much. 
okay okay so now i've come to uh, the sort of second last bit of my storage suggestions to you um and what i've got is some more of these boxes that i love to use um i do get these on amazon if you're in the uk they will be on my amazon um, favorite crafting tools list unfortunately i don't see these for the us list on that crafting favorite list i did have a look but you don't have to have it see through i mean have a look and see you know any kind of a container um, could possibly work for you you don't have to copy what i'm doing these are just really my suggestions now the, what i do with this is this is stuff um that really is specific to a, a, a sort of theme so for me um my christmas ribbons and trims go into this one here i only pull this out because it's all specific to christmas it all says christmas all over it and i only use it at christmas time so everything for christmas i go in here and it goes together into a container where i've got the cubic cubes that um store everything so all the fabrics all the ribbons all the bits and pieces charms everything papers the lot go in there all right so that's specific for christmas um this one here um is a lot of uh, antique pieces of lace trim um various uh sort of you know embroidery anglaise these are all very old vintage pieces that i keep in here so um embroidery anglaise things that i've collected um over the time that i've been crafting so in here it's everything that's really old some people have given me or i've collected and it's all really specific to that so i keep all of this in here so you might have seen i think i got this from the lovely um heidi and i've kept it on the spool she gave it to me in and it goes in here so nothing in here um i've just mess this one up nothing in here um is something that i want to uh sort of use on a day-to-day -day basis i'm saving this for a special project um and i've put it all in here um and again they're, they're not very long pieces usually they're really small um so they're not really going to wind too well on my other system there so everything in here is really little bits that i've put together to store in here i think i've just put these two in here because they were specific to something else but um i thought they would work so this is all really old bits and bobs on the mo for the most part in here okay so that's what i do here you can't wind any of this on it's like really small so any lacy bits anything like that they work well in these containers um and you'll see with my system um, I'm easily able to store them like this into the container um, my shelving system that I have so they go nicely like that so you can get quite a few of these in the different colors that you might have now for me I don't have that much in other colors um, I've got a couple of other bits and pieces but not enough in here I have got smaller ones of these that I store lace bits in um, and they in plastic as well because i got them in little bags and i like to keep things in the sort of containers people send them in to me as well so i do have those as well but these are really great um keep things in themes so this is what i do with the themed sort of stuff it goes into these and i've got quite a few of these that i've collected okay we're on to the last bit now gosh got half my craft room out on my desk here Right, let's just find a spot for that. Um, right, uh, this is just how I store something else I thought I'd share with you. Uh, these are my buttons. I've got a lot of flower buttons and I do like these sort of car compartmentalized things you get these a lot on all over the place i got these from amazon as well these are all my sort of flower buttons that i use a lot of um so i've got them all together here because i had them from all over the place that i've collected and i just wanted one sort of spot for the flowery sort of antique shell the special buttons let's say so those all go in there all right then um this is you've probably seen me use this this is what i um put my eyelets in that i've collected from all over the place lots of them are we are memory uh, keepers um in here 
Um, so that's where they go in here um, when I'm looking for a specific color. Um, you've seen me use the sequins. So this you can buy in its container already on Amazon. So if you look on the Amazon favorite crafts list, this is on here for um, the UK and the US. And I use this a lot because it's got different sizes and different colors, the kind of colors I like to use. So that's what I do there. Um, and then this is also We Are Memory Keeper eyelets here, but these are the larger ones. People have asked me a lot about the larger eyelets. I get them from Amazon as well because it seems to be the most reasonable. Um, and I think they've just been on a bit of an offer. Um, so again, I use these containers, which I get from Amazon, and I like everything in one spot. I don't like going through piles of packaging. Um, if I'm looking for a specific color, I've put them in the various colors and this is, these are the colors I use. So um, that goes in here as well. All right. So um, there's a lot of plastic because somebody did say that to me, but it's not plastic I'm going to dispose of on a daily basis. So, you know, I don't have an issue using plastic as long as it's something that I, it's going to have longevity so this does so this is all easy for me to use i've also got a little seed bead one as well um which i haven't been using recently but these are the ones that i use most often so they stand um on the end of my desk with my cropper dial on the top so it's normally like this <laughs> all right um, guys, that's everything that I wanted to share with you as far as storage um, suggestions are concerned. Thank you, Vilma, for sharing your um, suggestion with me. I loved using that. Um, so please go and have a look at Vilma's channel um, and give her some love as well. Um, and yeah, if there's any other storage system you would like me to share with you, let me know. Um, and thank you so much. If you're looking for any of these items, I have put them on my on my Amazon favorite tools that I like to use. Um, if I could find them, I have linked them there for you uh, for the US. But I do spend uh, a lot of time um, shopping on Amazon, especially because everything's locked up and it has been for nine months pretty much. So, um, yeah, I've always enjoyed Amazon because they deliver and what we can't go wrong. All right, everybody, um, I hope that's been helpful. Um, let me know what you think. I look forward to seeing you guys in my very next video. Um, I hope to have a nice crafty uh, video for you very soon. All right then, guys, have a good week. Bye-bye.